Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Turian's Adventures. For this video, we're going to be checking out the demo or prologue for Ejected Star, which is a really cool space-themed point-and-click adventure game I found while I was just browsing around. And it sort of looks, from the screenshots, a little bit like Star Trek and Space Quest had a baby, if that makes sense. If it doesn't, hopefully it will in a minute. And um, We're going to jump in with a new game and just see what this is all about, but it looks really, really cool, and I can't wait to get into this. So here we go, Ejected Star Prologue. I don't know if it has voice acting or anything like that, but it looks pretty cool from the sort of retro style 2D graphics. I love it so far. Very atmospheric sound as well. Ooh, what's this? That looks a bit spooky, doesn't it? Somewhere deep within the Kasorian asteroid belt. How are the vectors looking? The same as they did 15 minutes ago. Will you relax? <laughs> so it does have voice acting. Sorry, I get a little jumpy coming into this section of the belt. Uh oh, that doesn't sound good. Everything looks fine. We're coming into the belt now. No collisions detected on the computer. See? Everything is fine. Famous last words. Yeah, I guess you're right. Something bad's gonna happen. Unless something catastrophic happens. Don't jinx it. <laughs> Ugh, why would you say that? I'm feeling the suspense. Something's gonna happen. Ah, I'm just kidding. Everything is... Full stop. Uh-oh. Here we go. It's gonna happen. Huh. Actually, it looks like there might be a problem on one of the lower decks. I told you. What's going on? Nothing serious. Looks like a pressure drop. I'll get engineering down to fix it. It sounds pretty serious. All of the engineers are at Sector 1 working on... Well, you know. Ah, no matter. Hand me the directory. I'll get some chump to work on it. We're going to be the chump, aren't also, we? why is the ship bobbing up and down? Not on the ocean. <laughs> That's a very good point. I get the feeling we're going to be the chump who's going to have to go and fix this. Is that us? Are we the chump? <laughs> Roll out of bed. About time you picked up. The log here says that your shift started two hours ago. Whoops. Uh, hard... Are you lying on the floor? Uh... <laughs> oh, come on! Get up! Alright, we're getting up, we're getting up. This is all that we have available? <laughs> ah, fine. Weapons Officer First Class Tommy Tektite, correct? Tommy Tektite, uh, I love second it. Second Class, my promotion test is next week. We're really scraping the bottom of the barrel here, <laughs> aren't we? Anyway, the only people left aboard Asteroid Vehicle 4 are either mandatory personnel or... Those who are so useless their supervisors forgot about them. Oh god. So, that makes me mandatory personnel, <laughs> right? Yeah, we're mandatory. Uh, <laughs> anyway, to the matter at hand. I love the zoom we in on the face. We seem to have a pressure drop down in Deck 17, and you're the only one available. I need you to head down there and handle it, okay? It's handled. I'm no engineer. I don't know the first thing about fixing an airlift. Oh, leak. maybe not. <laughs> Listen, Tom, you have to have some kind of degree to be a weapons officer, right? It was more of an apprentice. So you're smart <laughs> enough to figure out a simple air leak. Get down there and figure it out. We're kind of busy navigating through an asteroid field. All right, all right. I don't right. even know the first thing about. You'll do great. I'm sure we will. We'll, we'll be fine. Helm out. Helm. Good to talk to you, man. Right, so here we go. Right, we've got all this stuff here. What's in these drawers? On second thought, the uniform I'm already wearing is still mostly clean. Okay, we'll keep we'll keep the uniform we've got. What's the deal with the notes? I really do need to study, but right now isn't the time. Okay. Said everyone ever a few weeks before a big test. <laughs> That's true. I was the worst for that in school and stuff. Uh, right. I don't need to take this. There aren't any Sigma launchers on this ship, which is a darn shame. <laughs> Just paperwork. No need to go through that right now. Okay, we're not going to go through that then. Uh, the bed? I can't sleep now. I've got things to do. Very important things, it seems. 
Shutter controls, console. Oh, there's an ID card here. Not really sure how it made its way over here, but I'm glad I found it. Yeah, it's going to come in useful, I'm sure. I like, I love the, the sort of animation style for the characters and the backgrounds and stuff. I think it's really cool. Ooh, let's look out the window. If I felt like ejecting myself out into the vacuum of space, I'd use an airlock, like a classy <laughs> gentleman. That's true, yeah. I always use the airlock. Looks like there's a leak on deck 17. Mm-hmm. Right. Like most of my problems, let's just ignore that for now. <laughs> right, can we press it again? Looks like there's a leak on deck Okay, 17. yeah, it's just gonna loop again. Right, is this the door? Yeah, it is. Right, uh... Elevator controls, device... What's the device? With my luck, I'd break it and I'd be stuck in the elevator. Better not. I love the way his head turns when he's talking, I think it's really cool. Uh, right, elevator controls. Nothing. Oh. Guess I need to swipe my ID card first. Ah, so how do we, how do we use our? Looks like with whatever's going on, I'm locked down to my bunk at deck 17. Maybe when I pass my lieutenant's exam, I'll have more privileges. Okay, so how do we? Nothing. Guess I need to swipe my ID card first. Right, how do we use the, the ID card? Is there a sort of controls thing anywhere or? Uh. Hmm. Nothing. Guess I need to swipe my ID card first. H how do we swipe Looks it? Like with whatever's going on, I'm locked down to my bunk at deck 17. Maybe when I pass my lieutenant's exam, I'll have more privileges. I honestly don't know how to use things. Hey guys, I figured it out. It's along the top here. It sort of disappears. Um, I don't, I don't know if I like that or not. Like, maybe there needs to be a little bit of a prompt in the full game. Maybe the devs can put something about that in sort of a tutorial or just something. Because that wasn't massively intuitive to me. But other than that, I mean, it's, it's fine. But I think, or either that or don't Great. have it disappear. Me. Took me a little while to figure that one out. But we're there. It doesn't matter. Right, so we've used the lift. Ooh, deck 17. Here we are. Uh, is there no air well, here? Well, I'm not dead yet, so there must still be oh, Okay, air. we're fine. Right, so, uh, elevator controls, papers. It's just some random papers. I don't think I need to take them. Okay. It's a screen. Whoops. Left a mark on the screen. Uh-oh. Uh, some cooling tubes. I can feel the movement of the liquid as it rushes through the pipes. Nice. Uh, what's that? Cooling tubes. There's something else there. Oh, tubing announcement. As useful as this information is, I don't need to lug it around. Okay, we won't lug it around then. Let's head on this way. Whoa, that's a big big hole in the ground there. That might be our problem. I'm going to take a wild guess and say that's the reason for the lowered O2 on this deck. Yeah. Even though it's a big crack, it seems as if the ship being built directly into the asteroid has kept this section from explosively decompressing. Mm, pretty cool. Which I appreciate. Thanks, asteroid. <laughs> right, we might need to fix that though. <laughs> Because that, I don't think, can stay that way. Uh, there's a reactor room this way. Hmm. Now that's a high-quality sign. Okay. Should we go to the reactor room? Oh, I see it's behind. It's pretty cool that it guided us there. Compacted trash. Even if I were able to crack open the container, all I'd find would be a compacted cube of garbage. Might come in useful, you never know. Although it might be indistinguishable from the rest of my inventory. <laughs> right, uh, so what's in these rooms then? It just buzzes ah. at me angrily. Must have already ejected the trash pods. Oh, the trash pods. I see. Uh, right. What's this warning sign? Unfortunately, sign? it's fixed securely to the wall. It'd be pretty funny to put in my bathroom, though. Yeah. That'd be good, actually. Beep, beep. No. Is everything on this deck broken? Seems that way, doesn't it? Yep. It just buzzes at me angrily. Must have already ejected the trash pod. Everything seems broken. I don't know who's in charge of maintenance here, but they're not doing a very good job. Right, repairs. There's a load of boxes. A moving car. As much car. as I'd love to take that baby out for a spin, I've got more important things to do. Okay. They just barely edge out riding around the halls on a cart, though. Just 
Barely. <laughs> yeah, I just know, barely. I know, I know, that dopamine rush when you open a new package, but I don't have time right now. Ah, oh, come on, you know you want to open it. I know, I know, that dopamine rush when you open a new package, but I don't have time right now. Okay, the door? Huh, looks like it's locked. Okay, so we're gonna have to find a way of opening it. I'm already down here working on stuff outside of my job field. I don't need something that advertises that I do. <laughs> Fair enough. Right, let's head back this way then. Maybe we need to go to the left when we first get to this area. Let's head through. Wait, are these doors as well? I don't think they are, no. I think it's just decoration. Okay. Uh, let's go down. We can try the reactor room, I guess. I like the atmospheric music still, it's pretty cool. Uh, right, there's a wire here, very obviously. No dice, it's stuck in there real good. Okay, so we're gonna need something to take that out of there, maybe. Door controls, let's try that. I need an ID card to open this door. Okay, well let's use our ID card. I'd better not. I came down here for an air leak. No reason to go messing around in the reactor. Ah, okay. We can't do that then. Let's head back. We must have to go to the left then, in that other area, I reckon. So let's give that a try. So we head down here. Oh yeah, we can run, can't we? I'm walking around like an idiot. Exactly like I did in Space Quest, funnily enough. Of course, that was a game speed thing, but, you know. Uh, anything in these lockers? I typed in my absolute favorite four-digit number. It didn't work. <laughs> okay, is there a way we can I maybe the locker combo. get a locker combo? I guess I can try sequential numbers, but it's going to take a while. Oh god, that's going to take a very long nope. time. <laughs> I typed in some random codes, but it won't open. Okay, well maybe we shouldn't do that. Uh, console, anything good on here? Uh, that didn't work too well. Okay, that... Seems to have done something, but it doesn't actually look very good. Fuse no, box. thanks. The last time I broke into a fuse box, it was a shocking experience. Hey, dad joke. The family of rabbit space weasels had taken up residence in that <laughs> box. I'm a surprise. I love it. Place. Started off as a dad joke and then got explained to be something different. Hmm, what's that? I don't know, what is that? Can we... Dark shapes. Is that an X-Blaster V3.5 with collapsible stock and adjustable iron sights? with variable outputs and settings for stun and full-on disintegration? Banned in almost all solar systems, save for the most war-torn, violent, unbelief areas? <laughs> oh my god. Do we need that? I feel like we need that. Oh my god, it's the mop. <laughs> it's a Space nah, Quest it's reference. <laughs> it's a Space Quest reference, okay. Right, we've got ourselves a mop now, brilliant. Ooh, this doesn't look very good. Right, there's a key here attached to a brick. It's just out of reach. I'll have to smack it with something. Ah, yeah, we've got our nice little mop, haven't we? A mop is probably not the best thing to use in this situation. Yeah, it is on the brick and key, not on the asteroid like I clicked on. Just a quick little swipe. Ready, go. Yes. Perfect. All right, let's pick that up then, shall we? We'll take that. Right, so what is the brick and the key for, I wonder? Well, I've got a key attached to a brick now. Hooray? <laughs> yeah, I don't actually know what that's for. Let's look at the asteroid. Ooh. Ooh, what a view. Luckily, the force fields keep me from being sucked out into space. That's very lucky, isn't it? Uh, there's also an unfinished corridor here. It's quite the drop. I'd rather not go tumbling off. Yeah, let's not let's not go off the edge there. So I wonder where we're going to use this brick and key. I haven't really seen anything which... I mean, unless it works on a locker or something. I typed in some random codes, but it won't open. No. Alright, key brick. It must go on something. I'm trying to think if we've seen anything that was locked now. Uh... Was there anything down here that was locked? Oh, maybe it goes to the repairs place? Could well do, right? It could go to the repairs room. Because was it locked? I don't actually remember. Let's see. Let's go down there and see if it was locked. 
right, here we go. Hey, that's a great idea. It is. You do it. Wow, okay. <laughs> I wish all doors were that easy to unlock. Oh my god. Why? I'll just reach in here and... There we go. Yay! We made it into the repairs room. Well, there's our key with Might the brick. Might as well keep this handy. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep it handy, shall we? <laughs> oh my god. This seems to be broken as well. But you know what, guys? That's where I'm going to leave it for this one, because I'd like you guys to go and play this for yourself. Also, if you like the look of it, wishlist it on Steam, because that really does help the developers out with getting the game and sort of exposure for it out there once it um, makes its way onto, CD, um, onto Steam and stuff like that. Uh, I'll leave a link to the Steam page and everything down in the description below. But that is going to do it for this one. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne and Nate, for all the support. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. It helps YouTube push this out to more people who'd like to watch it. And to people who might want to join our little point and click community. And I'll see you all next time.